Hi, I'm Jim Gordon, and you're watching Market One Minute. Joining us is Christopher J. Moreau, CEO of Algernon Pharmaceuticals. Christopher, welcome. Nice to see you. Great to see you, sir. Okay, tell us about Algernon. Algernon is a clinical stage drug development company. What's unique about Algernon is we're focused on drug repurposing. So we're not trying to move new compounds through to approval. We're looking at older compounds that have been approved, so they have a known safety history. They're off patent and we investigate them to see if they can be repurposed to treat other diseases. It's a very cost-effective method of drug discovery and it's very uh, efficient. You can bring an older drug uh, through to market approval to treat a new disease in under five years compared to 12 or 13 years for a new uh, chemical entity. Why did the company decide to investigate the psychedelic drug DMT for use on stroke patients? It's really about the science. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in the psychedelic space in the last year, but specifically a group of researchers from the University of California exposed psychedelic drugs to brain neurons. And uh, what was incredible is the psychedelic drugs caused the neurons to grow. There was a second study in Hungary where they showed that rats that had been affected by stroke had a vast improvement in 30 days after being exposed to DMT. What's interesting about DMT is that it clears the body very quickly. It only lasts for five or six minutes, a half-life. Mm -hmm. And so that uh, led us to wonder if it can help a brain cell uh, grow, could it help a stroke patient after they've suffered an injury? And, and that's what we decided to, uh, to tackle. When will Algernon begin clinical trials for DMT? Our first uh, dimethyltryptamine, DMT, clinical trial should begin uh, as early as January 2022. Uh, this will be a phase one trial which will focus on dose and safety. We plan to do that study in the UK at a place called Hammersmith Medicines. They've done a number of studies with psychedelic drugs, including DMT. What's interesting is there have been many phase one studies on DMT, so we're not concerned about a safety signal here or toxicity. What we're more interested in is trying to understand what the concentration or dose is for a patient, what's the duration of the treatment, and how quickly after they've had that stroke. So the next exciting part will be that uh, we could be in a phase two trial uh, by a mid year of 2022. So a phase two trial for stroke for DMT and, and I think that that's quite exciting. And do you believe that DMT could be a game changer for stroke patients? I do. I, I, there are hundreds of, of drugs that have been tested and, and haven't worked and most of them have focused on trying to reduce the injury that occurs when blood flow is interrupted in the brain. This is really a different approach. We're trying to see if that uh, once there's an injury and because of a lack of oxygen the brain cells start to die can drugs like DMT help the brain make new connections which would reduce the deficit that patients suffer after that stroke and help them recover? If it does work, it will have global significance for, for people all over the world that have suffered from a stroke. Finally, Christopher Algernon is also investigating Ifenprodol for chronic cough and serious lung disease called IPF. Can you tell us about that program? Right, so Ifenprotol is an ex-Sanofi drug. It's only available in Japan and Korea. It's used to treat uh, vertigo. Mm -hmm. But when we investigated it in animal studies, we found that it was uh, effective in reducing scarring in the lung, which happens when you have idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF. We also did some research and showed that it reduced cough in a, a chronic cough animal study. So we're running a phase two trial in Australia mm -hmm. and New Zealand. We hope to find uh, from that study that Ifenprotol has reduced the amount of scarring and fibrosis in the patients. We have some early data that suggests it is reducing the amount of cough that these patients are suffering from. Mm -hmm. As a result of that data, we went to the US FDA and we filed what's known as a pre-IND application. We're asking for guidance from the FDA on starting a phase two trial specifically for chronic cough in the United States. Christopher, thanks for joining us. Okay, Jim, thanks. Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. Thanks for watching this Market One Minute on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with other videos that we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click on this list to see other great videos from Market One. And thank you again for watching.